This is Mars. He and Thalia um, came up with five fertile eggs, and four of them have hatched so far. I left three with them, and then moved the last two embryos to a foster hen. Um, one of them has hatched out so far. The other one's due to hatch today. Um, unfortunately, their second-born chick went rickets very early on. Um, and I couldn't save it because uh, you can't you can't give them the liquid calcium full dose when they're under six days old or it burns them because it's very acidic and it'll kill. Them. So I can only give them one quarter dose, which seems to have saved the other two from having any problems. But I did have to put down the middle chick. Um, but Dolly is doing a fantastic job. Hi, Missy. Can we see your babies? Yeah, there they are. And these two look really good. Um, and I will keep them on calcium, knowing that things are, calcium is low, that's why their sibling went, um, went south. This is Sprite and his girl Ariel. They have four fur legs. I was worried about Sprite because he's four years old, but he hasn't slowed down a bit. So they have four, um, they had four embryos. Um, two of them hatched out here. They actually had five and then the middle embryo failed. So these two hatched out within a day of each other and are very close in size. Um, as you can see, they're still younger. Um, oh, look, I think I can see this one's a yellow base. See the yellow on the edge of his wings? I wonder if the other one's going to be yellow base. I don't know if Sprite is split or not. I think it's yellow but it's hard to tell. He's just one day younger and the difference is noticeable. So, they're pretty little babies. Now, all everybody's extra embryos went over here to Apollo and Hera. Poor Hera has laid three sets of eggs and never got any babies out of it. So I said, you're raising babies this time. So I've been fostering in eggs that were about to hatch. And she's been doing a wonderful job. Let's take it off because I see, let me see. She has two, the two oldest chicks are Sprite and, I mean, are, yeah, are Sprite and um, Ariel's, and the youngest chick is um, somebody else's. There's another embryo in here that should be hatching today. We'll see if it does. Um, okay. There you go, Mama. You're doing a good job. They're not yours, but next time we'll get you. She just had bad luck getting matched up with infertile cops and stuff like that, but I'm still not writing her off as infertile yet. So, um, and this time, um, Apollo is a proven fertile male, but I set them up right in the middle, right before a heat wave started, and I had a bunch of infertility in my males. So, they get another try. I need one. Or it's you handsome babies standing up on a perch. He said, of course. And there's his two little siblings over there hiding. Proud daddy, cutest baby. Okay, so this is Lemony. So I have an interesting story here. Lemony was an absolute beast. She laid five infertile eggs um, with a male that I brought in. And she rejected and rejected and rejected males because she was in love with her brother, whom, by the way, is one of the birds that got killed by the hawk. That one, he got caught and bit and chewed up. It was not good. But, um, so I, I assumed that when she started laying eggs, um, that she was breeding with the, la with the last male that I put her in there. She finally settled on a guy. I was wrong. So, one of the things that I noticed is she was really light. She, she was not eating enough in, when she was sitting on the eggs. And I was like, honey, you got to feed yourself. So I started putting um, millet in the box with her. And she would eat that. And so I was like, why are you starving yourself to death? Um, and then I fostered her three embryos from um, Kobe and Lavender. And when the first one hatched out, um, everything looked great. And then the next day I came out and one of the other eggs was thrown out of the nest and bit through. And I was like, what the heck? Now, she had been super aggressive with me. Um... And I was like, wow, why are you so crazy and not eating and the whole thing? Um, and finally, the next day I came out and the cock was in the nest with her. He had thrown out all the other eggs and, he, and they were literally fighting in there because he was trying to kill the baby. So what ended up happening was he never bred her. She just decided to lay eggs by herself, still rejecting him. And that's what a cock will do when he's introduced to a hen and a box full of eggs. 
he knows those eggs aren't his babies, so he's going to destroy them. So when they started hatching, he really went into earnest. So the poor thing was sitting on those eggs, starving to death, because um, because uh, if she got off them, the cock would go in and destroy them all. So she was defending her eggs the entire time. I'm so glad I found it before he killed the one chick, but he did destroy the other two embryos, which really kind of bums me out. So I pulled him out and said, okay, baby, you can stay in here and take up a cage by, and raise this foster chick. You've earned it. Um, so, uh, and next time I will, you know, try her with a different cock in the spring when fertility is better. And as I said, the cock that she wanted was her brother and the, and the hawk killed him. So that's not going to be an issue anymore. So she is doing a great job. That little um, last, this is the fourth baby out of Kobe and, La and La uh, Kobe and Lavender, and I think it's bigger than the third chick because she feeds it so much. So, hi, Mama. How you doing? Huh? You doing okay? She's a good mama, and she's as you can see, she's filled out again now that the cock she can come out of the box without worrying about the cock killing her babies. So, um, so this is Neptune, who I was long-term mated with Sif, I mean Mist, and had several babies with her, but Mist didn't produce anymore, she's too old. So she's moved on, and he is in here with Athena, who is sitting on six eggs, at least three of which are fertile. So they end up being a fertile myrtle pair. I'm looking for violets, and what I'm really looking for is babies with daddy's head. Um, I wasn't sure that Athena could throw babies with a big head, because she has a little head. But I bred her to Mars last time, and then she promptly rejected him the minute I put her out in the flight cage. Um, and one of their babies had the most awesome head on him. So I was like, alright, she can do it. So I'm going to keep all of those babies and foster them to make sure I get one or two that has the big head on it. So that's the value in this pair. Um, so this is, who's this? This is Ocean who was set up with a, um, Maya who rejected him, Cerulean who thought he was lovely but never bred with him, and I finally gave up and gave him to Narcissa. We will lose, she's not split to blue, so we will lose his beautiful coloring, but we will get some nice big-headed babies. And they gave me two, my fertility has been very low. They gave me two, oh, I see another eggshell in there. Do we have two babies? Yes, we do. Always crush the eggshells, but leave them in there, because the hens eat them, but you don't want the eggshell to get wrapped around a baby or another egg. So, so that's a two-day-old baby and a brand new one, and they are looking good. Um, and that's all we got from them. My fertility was really low this time around. We had an unseasonable heat wave when I first set up for breeding and made everybody infertile. Oh, wrong way. So, um, but hey, I cool down to two anyway, so three anyway, so if a pair gives me two, I consider it a good day. If that's He's going to groom his baby. Okay, guys. Don't worry. So this is Winston. Um, yeah, they need their box cleaned out, too. This is his foster chick, who is from over here, Seal and um, Pastel. And apparently his other two chicks are in his box. Let's take them out, because I have to go clean it. And these are Winston and Sif's babies. Um... This one, they're both opalized. This one's a nice little green like his mama, Winston, Winston, I mean Sif. And this one's a nice little gray-green like his daddy, Winston. I think the gray-green has the greater size, but again, when they're this young, it's hard to say what's going to happen. Um, Winston's being a great daddy for his three little babies, and I'm going to go clean out the box.